Good morning. So, to yesterday. I really enjoyed yesterday. I completely did the light package for the actual castle, Plainville Castle, and you will be able to see it all today in its glory. I really, it really went really well. I think I might have to add just a few more lights to it, but at the moment, it's popping. So, please enjoy the video. Yeah, so there we go. Yeah, I, I love it when you when you get the lights up and things. And like at the moment, it's reflecting a lot more because the actual um, the plaster is all white and still drying. It's going to take about a week to dry now. That bit, I can't tell you how it fitted. There's two castles down the bottom. I, I didn't video the bit where I found it, unfortunately. But the first structure I built um, that has the one castle on that is independent. That archway that I cut purely out of a guess, just cut it. I didn't guess it, I did, just cut it. It was no reason why the anything was going there. The castle walls fitted underneath it absolutely perfect. So the castle's complete. It's going to look so good. It's so exciting. So that's yesterday. Now today, I'm not going down to the unit today. I'm having a day off. I've got to make some phone calls and if I, die, if I have tomorrow off, uh, then I wouldn't be able to get to doing the phone calls. But I'm looking forward to today what I'm doing. 
I'm actually going to be showing you Catacomb Bay, my ideas with it. Um, some of you already know about it, some of you have heard me talk about it. Well, this is going to be the vlog where I actually do a bit more in depth about Catacomb Bay. And probably every day off, every sort of seventh day, I'm going to do um, a vlog about other things. At the moment, you just see me making the plan build zone because that's the way I'm working. But then um, there's going to be the other ideas and other things that I want to put forward to you. So there we go to to you all. Um, and that's it really. I'm ready and raring to go for it. Oh, Emma's doing me in a, a cooker is a nice brunch. And that gets me on to a point actually about diet. I'm not doing very well at the moment. And in fact, I'm doing very badly. In fact, I'm back into my gorging stage. Do you know when you, like, late at night, you fancy a bowl of cereals and you um, you go and open up the Weetabix packet and you find that there's actually, there's five Weetabix left, but you only have three. And you actually say, oh, it was silly to leave the two there, I'll have the five. And you feel guilty about it the next day. Well, I did that with nine. And I don't feel very good about it. And interestingly, what I did, the reason why I wear a different coloured shirt every vlog is it makes it very easy when I'm editing to find the, the, that, that day's actual um, the wraparound um, bit. So um, it, I don't have to search through all my actual my, my, photo, my films. Um, but it's been a very good gauge for um, my weight. There's two t two shirts, the pink one and the yellow one, that I can't wear because they're too tight. So it's really gay. So I've got to get into gear and I've got to snap this, this yo-yo in and get back into eating sensibly. So I'm starting it off with a nice big cooked breakfast brunch made by Emma. But I'm going to see today as like a, a farewell, a farewell to my gorging and I will actually get back on, on track again. Because in the end, you'll find that actually the only, there will be only, I think there's two shirts that actually fit me uh, when I'm actually at uh, my, my sort of 18, 17 and a half, 18 stone mark. So um, I've still got five that actually, no, six actually, that fit me fine. This one's all right, you see, no gaps. So yeah, anyway, I'm definitely waffling now. So it is time to say goodbye.